Cheers. I'll explain the bunks later. Okay, so why are we here? I'm gonna try to not ramble. The long story short is, we love it. We had a great time here in May. Okay, and the long story, slightly longer, is, and in case you're new here, I'm Steph, this is Pete. This is our two-year-old son, Hayes. We have spent the last 11 and a half months traveling. The first 10 months of those were in partnership with Airbnb, and we spent the month of May in Seoul. And because of the nature of the program, we were spending one month in one single Airbnb listing in one single city. And so we got to see a lot of Seoul. We have a lot of videos on it. If you watch them and you're back here watching this, thank you so much. But we didn't travel around the country as much as we would have liked to, and we're still traveling, and we figured while we're in Asia and it's relatively quick and easy and not too expensive to come back, that we would come back and see some more places. If you're watching this video because you watched some of our other Korean videos, you might have recommended that we go somewhere and we're gonna go to some of those places. So anyway, we're super, 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 super excited to be back in Korea. We're spending a little over a week here in Seoul and then we're gonna go travel some more of the country. So. Hopefully these videos are not too behind real time, so please, please, please leave in the comments things we should do, see, eat, experience, stuff Hayes would like. We are really, really relying on your recommendations this time. One more thing, well, two more things. First of all, everybody's still wearing masks outside even though that mandate ended shortly after we got here last time in May, which I think is great. Really respectful and makes us feel super safe. The other thing is that we have some really cool opportunities this time while we're in Korea, and that is largely thanks to you all for watching. So we just wanna say how much we appreciate it, and how excited we are to come back and spend more time in South Korea. Okay, now I'm well and truly back. I know how cliche this is. It's like literally the most cliche thing. I love it. How do they know that that bag is gonna fit? I mean, there's a million ways to know that. <laughs> Addendum to the last comment. There are more people on the street now not wearing masks outside. Last time we were here was uh, May, we got here May 2nd? Mm -hmm. I didn't intend for this to be a first impressions video because it's not a first impressions we were here two hours months ago. But I just love it so much. There's so many things to comment on. By the way, it's like 10 minutes later, but we definitely don't have COVID because you still have to get tested to enter the country, although now you can get an antigen instead of a PCR test. And then you have to get tested at the airport, I think at the airport, maybe within 24 hours to a PCR test. So our antigen before the flight came back negative and our PCR from last night, we got the results like by this morning. It's so organized. It didn't take long, but we found the potion lady. Hey Z, do you want a yakult? If you haven't yet realized, we are staying in the Yeonam, 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 Hongdae area this time. We stayed in Myeongdong last time and then we spent our last few nights here. Um, and it is such a cool neighborhood. I will say, it's a little bit, we haven't eaten in a few meals. And we're starving. And we want something Korean. And we had no plan, we just walked out. And everything we pass is like Italian or Indonesian or Vietnamese. It all looks delicious. We've, just, we've been here not even a day, so we want to eat some cream. But that is a little harder about this neighborhood. The other thing that's a little bit harder is it's a very young neighborhood. And last night it looked very, very cool and hip. Uh, but I don't think they wake up quite as early as us. So it feels like it's not yet totally alive yet. Another Italian place. We're in this area looking to eat Italian food, which one of our subscribers said there was great noodles in this area. So perhaps when it's not our first day, we'll do that. But if you come to Seoul and crave Italian food, come to Hong Kong. 
I just want to make you mine. I feel like we need to document this moment. We're sitting here waiting for our noodles. <laughs> Actually, we're running late on time because I need to go get my phone fixed, but um, we just got recognized for the first time by a Korean American from Arizona who saw one of our videos two nights ago with the best part is she said hi and we had a chat. She's visiting family here. And then she was like, oh, I guess I should subscribe. So, G, hi. So, I got Chi. <laughs> Chi. So, we did not get recognized by a subscriber. We got recognized by a non-subscriber who hopefully we converted. <laughs> if you're watching, What a weird hi, by the way. experience. Found a restaurant. It's very local, local. There's some signatures on the wall, so maybe it's good. It looks good. I'm having. I don't even have spicy chive noodles and a tuna rice ball. And Pete is really missing. Kimchi is not my favorite. Love it. This is what we're having. Spicy. Last time I was in Seoul, my laptop screen broke and this camera lens broke, which was super annoying and expensive, obviously, but also great because I was like, I'm in Seoul, literally the best place ever to get electronics fixed. Well, about three weeks ago, I was on an island in the Philippines and my iPhone broke and I've been carrying it around with me ever since. Uh, because we were just hopping from island to island and there was nowhere to fix the phone. So anyway, Pete and Hayes went back for Hayes to have a nap and I'm headed to the Apple store, hopefully for good news. But if not, I'm in a great place to buy a Samsung. Outside of the Apple store, it was bad news on the phone. They won't even like open it. They're pretty sure it's just dead. Just so annoying because I like don't know what happened to it. Anyway, still have no phone. I might figure out how to purchase a Samsung, which would be the only non-iPhone I've had since iPhones existed, which is kind of exciting. When in Korea. All right, nobody asked for phone updates, but in case you're wondering, like, it's your first day back in Korea, why are you not doing anything fun? It's because now I've come to Yongsan Electric Market area. Because last time I was here, I think I said this, I had a bunch of stuff break, found this really great guy, Phil, that I think like every expat in Seoul uses. Um, he fixed my computer, did a great job, really good price. And so I messaged him to say, do you know anybody that fixes iPhones? And he sent me up here to iPad Care, who also seem to be really lovely guys who say there's a 50% chance. But let me know tomorrow. This is so boring, I'm so sorry. go out tonight it's our like first evening back in Korea we're really tired and the day of errands wore me out I, excuses excuses anyway not the most exciting first night back in Korea but it's... we're having like microwave rice and tin tuna and cucumbers and seaweed for dinner gourmet <coughs> but hey we're on a budget so if you're not feeling it you shouldn't make yourself go out and spend money what I believe, but also look at this place for staying. We're in Vietnam near Hongdae. I think some other people stay in there, but we have like multiple roof terraces. It's great. I know we're keeping we're it real, lucky. and we're sharing a can of terror as well. So, oh, no, I already drank a can of a uh, Jeju wheat ale. Oh, it's Australian. Wait, Tara's not Korean? Wait. Tara's not Korean? Australian uh -uh. general malt selected by Tara. Oh. Selected by Tara. Yeah, it's Korean with it's Australian Korean? malt. Wow, okay. Oh, Ooh, it's panic decent. over. It's a decent drop. Yeah, Tara was my favorite of the domestic cool. beers last time. Yeah. Anyway. Keeping uh, it real here. Keeping it real. This entire first vlog might be kind of us just adjusting to being back, but I promise that the next video, I'm really excited about that. Over there where Hayes is looking down at the street below is a, I think they're called a descending life, lifeline. 
and I noticed these in the hotel last time we were here. So if the building is on fire or something's happened to the building and you need to get out of it pretty quickly. Basically like a safety rope that you like strap around, there's like a belt type thing that you strap around your back and then I guess lower yourself down. <laughs> I need to find out a little bit more information about them. Have you ever seen them before Korea? No, I no. But like they're just it's in this like little plastic box. You're like, how is that gonna help like support me go down the side of a building? If any descending lifeline box manufacturers are watching, I would love a I would love a um, a tour of your factory where you where you make these things to learn more. Good morning, Pete. Uh, Pete? Pete and I? I'm Pete. Hayes and I are off to a playground this morning. Stephanie's at home, she's working on some videos, doing some editing. Uh, so, we another reason why we chose this area is because there is a ton of playgrounds around. So, we're checking out a new one right now. And uh, we, if you don't know this, um, well, it took us a while to figure it out. But using on Naver, the Naver, uh, map app um, you can type in children's park and then it will pop up playgrounds uh, in the area near where you are um, and that's really helpful it took us a while to figure that out because we were trying to find them on neighbor anyway just a, a tip there if you are not from here there is also a lot of very very cool coffee shops cool coffee shop Cool coffee shop. So I wish we had the time to uh, check them out, but um, yeah, I love this area. It's very, very chill. Feels a little bit more sort of residential. Um, oh, and we just arrived at the playground. They say time is a healer. Just you wait and see. Okay, back by popular demand. Pete going down a slide. Ready? <laughs> I don't know who has more fun in these playgrounds. Me or Hayes. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hey, so was that a successful trip to the playground? If my mom won't fly. Are you gonna say something here? Yeah. Okay, that's nice. I guess we'll do a Okay, let's go. We haven't even, we'll tell you where we are in a minute, but I have a huge regret. Last time we were in Korea, I didn't eat enough mackerel. Mackerel is by far my favorite fish, and it is so good here. We only had it once when we were here last time. So, I got it here this morning, or now, and it's so buttery and delicious. They cook it like, I think the best kind of mackerel I've, I've ever had. It's so, so good. Beautiful, it's not overcooked. Oh, I mean, it's so delicious. The place we're at was on our list last time, but we weren't staying near here, so we never made it over. It's called Gangnam Jip Persimmon Tree House, and it's a type of restaurant I also don't know how to say. It's a shukong. It's basically like a diner for taxi drivers, from what I understand. This one's 24 hours, and they serve like Relatively inexpensive, uh, like homey meals with lots of side dishes, rice, noodles, and 
It is so good. Sorry, Kays is running away. But it is, um, I guess this one was like featured on a TV show or something, so it's gotten pretty popular. It's delicious. We ordered the mackerel that he was talking about. We also got beef bulgogi. We should have gotten the pork bulgogi, because uh, I just read the facts of the this year. Next time. Okay, one thing I also love about Seoul that I forgot, but I'm re-realizing, um, tell me if you if this is true, but as somebody that only wears like black and occasionally gray and so that's olive, there's literally not one person in this restaurant, and for the most part, walking down the streets, not wearing black, blue, gray, or navy. Like everybody. Very rarely do you see something that's not one of those colors. Got an accurate observation? Let me know. I mean this from no place of judgment. If you looked at my suitcase, it looks exactly the same. Can we get more micro? Really good. I would also say it's delicious. I want. I need to learn how to say delicious. Mashiseo, mashiseo, right? Mashiseo. Mashiseo, mashiseo. There's a line now. What time? It was. We ate early. We read that this would happen. Very good. Seoul reminds me of New York in a lot of ways. Like same energy. Um, and that place definitely reminds me of like a deli or diner or something, sort of, in a weird way. I hope it's evident that we are so excited to be back here. I love Seoul and Korea in general, but I just had a moment walking to the park this morning with Hayes and just being like, this is such a great city. So anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's not over yet, but if you have, give it a like. Leave us a comment. We love reading all your comments. Even if they're in Korean, we translate them. And subscribe because we're going to be here for a while and doing lots of fun things in Korea. All right, Hayes just woke up from his nap. I think we're going to head to the oil tank park this afternoon. Somebody had recommended that last time we were here. We never made it because we were not staying out this way. But before we do that, if you've been watching us a little while, you know that we've been traveling for almost a year. We're traveling with carry-on suitcases, not much stuff. So one of the more challenging things has been what toys do we travel with and when do we get new toys and what toys are going to hold Hayes' interest and all that kind of stuff. So we were really excited when Robotry reached out and wanted to send Hayes some paper robots. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's robot in it. Robot in it. By the way, I don't know if this is like a cultural thing, Mommy, but I noticed come this. On the bench. Come on the bench. When I looked at Airbnb last time, I noticed that like often there's no like living room sofa area, but there is always like a table. Let me know if that's a Korean thing. It was hard to find places with what we would consider like a traditional living room. We had one the last time, but this time our living space is this kitchen area. <laughs> Have you ever seen a paper robot? We don't need any scissors, Hazy, and we don't need any glue, which is great. They're not things I travel with. The other thing we look for in toys is something that will hold his interest for a little while, so we do tend to purchase things that are like slightly older than him, so that they last longer. Can you not be on this one? I'm So I think the end goal of this one is that it's going to be like a crank mechanism, but you can collect other paper robots that have other mechanisms. Okay, full disclosure, sometimes men, hopefully this is relatable and nobody gets offended, uh, sometimes men aren't the best at reading instructions, so I had to intervene. It has nothing to do with robot training, everything to do with my husband. Oh. Look at his little face. Oh. Okay. Can you see the cogs inside moving? Can you turn this one, the yellow one? Yeah. 
we give him a name? Yeah. What should we call him? Yeah. Call him who? Yeah. Call him what? Gadda. Gadda. Yeah. Well, this is Gadda, the curious detective. Robot Tree Robot. If you want to get your very own, uh, I will put the Amazon, it's on Amazon, link in the description box below. And I will say, if you have a little bit older kid that you would like to occupy for a relatively lengthy but fun period of time, which I think is what every parent is looking for. Like this took a while, but in the best way. Because sometimes I feel like you buy toys for kids and you're like, am I gonna get 20 seconds or am I gonna get five minutes or maybe I'll get 15 minutes with this one. It takes a while, it's educational, and you get this cute little robot here. Completely made out of paper, which is really awesome. And packaged really small. It comes in this small little package that you could throw it in your bag for when you know you're gonna have a long travel day or something. Yeah, I would totally recommend this. And I enjoyed it, which is something I look for in the toys. Like, hey, it's like, will I have fun? Yes. Back over here and help daddy. No bones in my either one. Okay, bring it. Oh, I won't build this. Can I do this for the and room? this. And that. And that. And build my own one. Anyway, thank you, Robot Tree, for sending Hayes that little robot. Uh, I don't think I mentioned, but they are a Korean company, but you can get their stuff on Amazon outside of Korea. But now we are at Oil Tank Culture Park, which is. I think I said all this, a place we meant to go last time and we're never out here. I don't know that it's this place you're supposed to come when there's not events. They do like cultural programs. But we were relatively close, so we decided it was a good place for an afternoon stroll to let Hayes burn off some energy. The weather is really not as bad as I was expecting. It's mid-August right now and we heard Korea was really hot and obviously it flooded last week, which is super sad. Um, but maybe it's because we've spent most of the summer in places like Vietnam and Malaysia and the Philippines and we're used to hot and humid weather, which is very comfortable and it feels like maybe it's going into the autumn and another lovely season. We were here in May last time and it was perfect. Now we walked uh, just not far and we're in the um, like World Cup Park complex which is made up of a bunch of parks and Paige is loving it. There's streams and playgrounds. I mean it's really really wild that we spent a month here doing nothing but sightseeing and there's still so much we haven't seen. And there's so much stuff for kids which is amazing. It's just like this is just this whole little woodland playground that is fantastic. I would also like to redact my comments about the weather. It is very hot and sticky right now. Alright, off you go. Hayes, Hayes, I'll come and pick you up about, about five, okay? Alright, that was a little bit weird. Uh, I hope that guy didn't mind me following him, but he had a, a, a I don't think it was maybe a parrot. Not sure what type of bird it was, but it was just on his head. Just walking around the park. Love it. I'm still looking for somebody not wearing blue, black, white, or navy. Navy is blue. There's a woman up here wearing red shirt. But other than that, not much. I love it. Impulsive stop, but I saw beer and it kind of looked like a you know, draft beer type place. So we're stopping for a drink before dinner. It was a great seat. I'm talking 
talking so much in this vlog, but I don't even know what area this is. What did I decide this was called? Sangam? I don't know, it's near World Cup Park. There's like soccer balls on the sidewalk. And it's so cute and cool and like neighborhood -y, but also like lots of restaurants and we, so Pete and I are like total, well, we were like over planners, over researchers, would pick out like everywhere we were gonna eat, put everything on a map. And then when we came to Seoul, we like didn't even look at anything. We just like walked out and ate what looks good. And it always worked, which is the sign of like a really good city. Like, not that you can't go wrong, cause I'm sure there's some mediocre food, but that you can just like trust your instinct that there will be options and it will taste delicious. And that's what we're trying to do tonight. We just walked into a place that was very, very busy. It had one table left. We sat down. We have no idea what this place is famous for. I used Google Translate to ask what is popular here. She said she recommended the potato pancake if we wanted to eat with our baby. If you want to eat with your baby, I recommend the potato pancake. So I don't know if the potato pancake is popular or if she just thinks our baby will eat it. Um, our baby bean case. Not a baby. Anyway, that's where we're at. I'll update you later. I'm feeling very self-conscious because we just had a very lengthy like uh, Google Translate exchange. So I'll put this away for a little bit. I was like, a normal thing is this for him. Potato pancake is delicious. It's not what everybody else is eating. So I think we're kind of curious what else there is. But it, it was really nice because uh, Hayes is enjoying it. And she gave him some ketchup. But it isn't what everybody seems to be in this restaurant for. Back, baby. Oh, what, Mr. Liz? I know this first video back has been like a total love fest for Korea. I'm sorry. Wait. Wait. You're not sorry. I'm not sorry. We love Korea. We love Korea. But I just wanted to say like, we've been, this is our 15th country this year? Yeah. Or not our 15th, but we've been to 15 countries since we started traveling a year ago. I think Koreans are the friendliest. I think of all the places we've been, and I think it's Hayes. I think they love kids. But of all the places we've been, we've had the most friendly, lovely interactions. It's been awesome. I also think that's the end of this video. So if you're new here, we thank you for following along. If you've been watching us for a while, we appreciate you following along. Either way, we would love it if you subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Follow us on Instagram because I am often seeking recommendations via my DMs. I love when people reach out on there. If you see us in Seoul, which feels crazy to say, but we ran into somebody yesterday, please say hi. Please. Uh, that feels nuts. I'm probably gonna edit that out. That feels insane. But honestly, we're so happy to be back and we appreciate you watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Hey, see you say bye. Please, I'm back to you. <laughs>